am James the Box Office Artist and welcome back finally to Ask the Artist. I'm continuing my series where I talk to professional comic book artists, concept artists, illustrators because I know a lot of you guys, you want to get into this crazy art business of ours and why not talk to the professionals, those that have made it and some of my personal heroes and today is no different. Today we are going to talk to the incomparable, you know him on the internet as Art Germ. His real name is Stanley Lau and he's a fantastic guy. We had a chance to talk to him at Fan Expo Canada last year. And it's a, a shorter interview, but we had a lot of fun with it as well. Big thank you to my friend Jonathan Incarnation who actually conducted this interview. So this is a fun interview. So if you are a fan of Art Germ, fan of his awesome DC uh, comic work and all of his illustration, this is for you. Yeah, my name is um, Stanley Lau, but most of the people know me as a germ. I am from Singapore and I run a studio in Singapore called Imagery Friends Studios and I'm the founder and the creative director there. Uh, we do lots of stuff for entertainment industry from comic to animations to games to advertising. So we cover quite a bit of ground. Yeah, so, um, and we also run a school uh, in, in Singapore that we teach students how to draw digitally. Mm, that's what we are doing. Can you give us a brief rundown on how you got your break into the industry? Yeah, I was officially trained in graphic design. I didn't have any formal education in art. I'm just a self-taught guy. Yeah, so back then there wasn't even internet, so I relied a lot of my knowledge based on books um, from the library. Oh, wow. Yeah, um, I did a lot of advertising stuff um, back then, before I got into the entertainment industry. Uh, I think my first break was when I started doing uh, DC comic covers especially the bad girl ones. How did you go about with your with your portfolio and seeking out jobs for, oh, no, for well, art in graphic In design? my younger days, in my teenage years, I, I, I learned everything by the books and then make a lot of mistakes and try to rectify the mistakes and and slowly internet so I mean internet appear and then we start to like engage the internet, especially uh, websites like DeviantArt. Right. So that's where I started posting my work and got really tremendous response. Because back then there wasn't even social media. So DeviantArt was the social media for me. For artists, yeah. Yep, so um, I got into like connection with many people, especially the editors from DC and Marvels. Mm -hmm. That's how I got started. At what point did you start thinking, you know what, some of my personal work could end up being the thing that I do almost primarily? Honestly speaking, I don't have a very, very uh, plan out like my, my life goals and, and what I'm supposed to achieve or objective in life. Basically, I just love to draw. So um, I was making uh, many like fan art before I, work, before I actually started working with uh, DC and Marvels officially. Um, after working with them, I'm still making fan art for fun. There's something that just keep me going and keep me creatively inspired to, to push on. So um, that's just where I am. In fact, uh, shows like this, it's just mainly for me to meet up with fans, shake their hand, just take some photo with them. I think this is fun and at the same time just meet some clients because yeah. I, I'm, 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 I'm like located in Singapore. So it's hard for me to actually meet my clients physically. And if conventions like this or San Diego Comic Con are the only cons that I actually can shake their hands and really uh, have, a, have a lunch for them. Yeah. What is it that you're working on now? Uh, I'm still working on a lot of comic covers uh -huh. um, for Marvel and, and DC. Are I'm there running, any ones coming up in particular? I'm running a regular cover gig with uh, DC for Supergirl. Okay. Yeah, so you can see lots of cover coming up uh, for Supergirl. I love the character, I mean, because of the TV show. Yeah. Uh, so I, 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 I requested DC to, to let me draw uh, Supergirl. They said, okay, well, let's do it. So that's what I'm doing now. And on top of that, I do a lot of statue designs with sideshow collectibles. Uh huh. And uh, there'll be a lot of statue coming up next year. That's awesome. Mm. Um, do you have any advice for any artists that are still up and coming and maybe trying to work on their craft? Yeah, I think at the end of the day, um, you have to take care of two sides of the of the of the career. First is the product, which is your art, mm. and second is to make sure that your work is being seen by people. So you have to manage your social media, your online presence, and make sure that you invest your time early to build your own fan base and let people follow you not just because you're awesome just because you want to show people how you become awesome i think that's an important thing so manage your your quality of your work at the same time manage your social media by building your fan base connecting with fans and and give yourself a chance or give them a chance to interact with you and grow with you
And there you go, that is the interview with Stanley Lau. Once again, thank you to my friend Jonathan Incarnation uh, for doing this interview for us. Now, uh, we actually went in deep into what uh, he said during this interview on the Box Office Artist Podcast. Yes, that is back as well. We took a little bit of a break, but that should be back weekly. And in fact, you can listen to that episode right now. Go check out the Box Office Artist Podcast where myself and Jonathan, we sat down for an hour. Uh, that was my first time listening to this particular interview and then you hear us go off go off and talk about our germ Stanley Lau about his work how they how his work influenced us as well as our thoughts about using social media today as an artist so that is a great um, podcast go check that out right now the box office artist podcast but in the meantime please follow my man Stanley Lau hopefully he'll return to YouTube one of these days but follow him and all of his amazing work go check out his school too some amazing stuff at his school coming up I hope to one day have another sit down chat with him to talk about uh, his his school one of these days of course myself being a fellow teacher as well but hopefully you enjoyed this uh, short but simple uh, interview and a lot of fun thank you to my man Stanley and thank you guys for watching hey if you are new to my channel you looked around you like what you see well if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button well I will be your friend for life join my 53,000 accounting best friends and we can draw every single day together also if you are interested check out my online store there you can uh, find prints uh, you could find original art and you could also find my commission prices if you're interested in all of any of those but once again you don't have to spend a dime I'm happy and just happy you're here watching my video so thank you guys for watching you guys are the best my name is James I am the box office artist I'm here to say keep drawing and I'll see you all tomorrow